Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about a row level security. But before that, if you did not subscribe my channel yet, then make sure that you subscribe the channel. I post Power BI videos regularly on this channel. And if you like the content of the video, then like, comment and share as well. So, what is the row level security? Now, it exactly works as its name. It provides the data security at row level. So, for example, in this picture you can see i have my sales data and i have my three different regions as well i wanted to set up a filter as my only asia continent employees can view asian data and europe employees can only view europe data and the north america employees only can view north america data so for that, what I need to do is I need to create a row level security roles according to the region and then apply the rules. And then I can give a permission in Power BI service to only employees that can view their region data. So without a delay, let's get started. I'm going to open up Power BI and i have my sales report here which has all three continent data and we are going to create first row level security roles and uh, to create the roles click on the modeling view and from the security section click on the manage roles and here in this window we are going to create the roles and apply the filters to that roles so for that um, on this uh, roles section i'm going to click on new and by double clicking it i am renaming it by asia employees so that is my role name and i'm going to select my geography from the tables because i have a column there which is separated by my region name asia europe and north america and then i'm going to click on this add from this filter um, data section and here as you can see it already selected the geography table uh, columns and this column is the right column continent name and is equal to Asia so here you need to make sure that this exact name should be available in that column and then I'm going to click on the new role and by double clicking it, I'm going to give a name to Europe employees. And again, by selecting this geography table, I'm going to add here uh, to add the rules. And where I'm going to give a Europe. So my continent name is equal to Europe. And then I'm going to create a third role, which is North America employees. And for that again by selecting the geography table i'm going to add the rule here my continent name is north america okay now you can also switch to the dex editor and you can see what this rule you created how does it look like in a, in a dex editor so when you click on that you can see here it only simply filters the data by continent name is equal to north america so that is that and when you switch back and you have all three roles and their filters set up so i'm going to save it and it's successfully applied the role changes now if you made any mistake here in giving this name but you don't have that exactly name available in this table then it's going to error out okay so i'm going to close this window and now we have our three roles so we are going to test that roles that it works as we want so for that i'm going to click on this view as and i'm going to click on this our first role asia employees and click ok and as you can see here now our continent name only shows asia and there is no other two continent uh, and the sales also shows filtered all this data is filtered according to the asia now when i go back 
view as and if I click on Europe then it will show me the Europe data so it shows Europe data so I'm going to stop viewing this so it will show me all data and then I'm going to publish the report so for that I'm going to go on home and publish report it's asking me to save the changes so yes and I need to select the workspace where I wanted to publish the report so that is my workspace the report successfully published on Power BI service so I'm going to click on this link and we are on Power BI service now and we have this report showing up all three continents now i'm going to go to my workspace so that and we have our report and our semantic model both so i'm just going to click on this three dot beside the semantic model so on that and i'm going to click on this security and as you can see here now we have all these three roles so we can test these roles here by clicking on this three dot so if i click on asia employees and test as this asia employee role then it only shows me the asia data so let's go back to and you can see here now viewing as asia employees and viewing Contoso sales that is our report name so this is report name and you are viewing as this role so let's go back here and you can test all of three um, same as Asia and it will show the um, show the result accordingly so North America and you can see here it shows only North America data let's go back now what you need to do in this power bi service that you need to give a email address here so as soon as you give an email address here it will allow you to save it and when that person log into in his or her account they can only uh, view the data according to this permission or the role okay so uh, this is all about row level security in power bi guys if you like the content of the video then please comment like share and if you haven't subscribed yet then subscribe as well thanks for watching and see you in the next video